Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Joel Irway with DailyFEExamPrep.com, and in today's lesson, we are going to be talking about part three of the Algebra of Complex Numbers section, and we are specifically going to be talking about multiplication and division of complex numbers. So let's get started. So the goal of today's lesson is that after this lesson, students and engineers will be able to multiply and divide two complex numbers. The general overview for how this presentation is put together, uh, we're going to start by talking about how to multiply and divide complex numbers in polar form and discuss the definitions and variables. Then we will learn how we will identify when to use polar form for complex number multiplication and division. And we'll also discuss multipl multiplication and division in polar form versus rectangular form. And we'll explain the difference between the two. We're also going to walk through one example. Um, any additional sample problems, we do have some that will be provided in separate videos. So if you need some extra help, be sure to check out for that. Uh, and just as an added bonus as well, um, multiplication and division of rectangular form uh, uh, complex numbers are available in the downloadable lesson plan for the members content. Okay, so multiplication of complex numbers in polar form. So for multiplication, let Z1 equal R1 angle theta 1 and z2 equal r2 angle theta 2. Now multiplying the two complex numbers we get z1 times z2 is equal to r1 times r2 angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Now by definition r is equal to r1 times r2 and theta is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2. So that's kind of where we get that derivation from. That gives us the r1 r2 uh, an angle theta 1 plus theta 2 equals r1 times, or uh, excuse me, r1 point and angle theta. So when two complex numbers are multiplied in polar form, then their modulus is multiplied and their arguments get added. So be sure to uh, recognize the difference there because they're not both multiplied. So you have one that's multiplied and then another set that's added. So be sure to be sure to note that down. Okay, so division of complex numbers in polar form, uh, we let z1 equal r1 angle theta 1 and z2 equal r2 angle theta 2. Now dividing the two complex numbers, we get z1 divided by z2, that equals r1 divided by r2 and angle theta 1 minus angle theta 2. So um, make note here, this is just a typo, that's supposed to be minus, so theta 1 minus theta 2. So a little bit further explanation by definition, um, if, we're, if we are dividing, then we get r is equal to r1 divided by r2, and theta is equal to theta1 minus theta2. So that's what gives us that z1 over z2 definition. So when a complex number is divided by another, the modulus of the numerator gets divided by the modulus of the denominator, and the argument of the denominator gets subtracted from the argument of the numerator. Now how do I identify when to use polar form for multiplication and division? Well, multiplication and division can be carried out, carried out in both rectangular and polar form. However, in polar form, the multiplication and division can be performed relatively more easily than in re rectangular form. So polar form, polar form versus rectangular form uh, multiplication and division is described like this. So the rectangular form, if two complex numbers are z1 equals a1 plus j times b1, and z2 is equal to a2 plus j b2, then uh, as we discussed before, z1 times z2 is equal to a1 times a2 minus b1 times b2 plus j times a1 b2 plus b1 a2. Now for division, we have z1 divided by z2 is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 divided by a1 squared plus b1 squared plus j times minus a2 times b1 plus a1 times b2 divided by a1 squared plus b1 squared. Now that was pretty uh, that was pretty complicated in the rectangular form, which is why we try to push everybody towards the polar form for multiplication and division. Now in polar form, if two complex numbers are given as z1 and z2, we have z1 equals r1 angle theta 1, and z2 is given as r2 angle theta 2. So for multiplying, like we just discussed, we have r1 r2 angle theta 1 plus angle theta 2. 
and division is just r1 over, over r2 and point theta1 minus point theta2. So let's go through a quick example. Divide 6 angle 120 degrees by 2 at angle 30 degrees. So the solution that we have here, we have we define our z1 and our z2 values. Z1 is 6 angle 120 and z2 is 2 angle 30. So we use the formula for polar division given on page 19 of the supplied reference handbook and we get z2 divided by z1 is equal to 6 over 2 at the angle of 120 minus 30, which equals 3 angle 90 degrees. So it's actually not that simple. That's why we want to do uh, polar for our multiplication and division. Okay, so that's the end of our, our lesson there. Um, what's next? Uh, if you are interested, I've given you bonus material for multiplication and division of rectangular form, and that is available in the downloadable lesson for members only. So be sure to check that out. Um, check out any additional sample problems for more practice if you need it. Um, I usually do about three sample problems per lesson, so I will have that also in the downloadable content as well. Um, and any further questions, please let me hear from them in the comments below. Um, if you like this lesson or if you have any comments, um, let me know, and I would love it if you liked it and shared these with your engineering friends so we can help grow this community. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, talk to you soon.